Alrighty, here comes one more bug book, and it's called The Dream Tree in the Serendipity series of books by Stephen Cosgrove. <sighs> Have you ever gazed at a spreading apple tree and wondered how many kinds of life live within its branches? There are probably little black ants, funny little spiders, and of course, fuzzy caterpillars. Patty. Patty Caterpillar was one of those very same caterpillars who lived in an apple tree at the edge of a large meadow. She was young, furry, and fluffy, and most of all, full of mischief. All day long, Patty would scurry along the branches of the tree, wriggling over and under leaves and twigs. Leaves were her favorite things to wriggle over because they always tickled her tummy. <laughs> One day, she was slipping and sliding on a branch at the far side of the tree, she came upon a large, perfectly white cocoon nestled among the leaves. Oh, wow, look at that. Patty studied it, walked around it, but for the life of her, could not decide what such a thing would be used for. She was so curious that she began to scurry home to ask her mother. As she wriggled and giggled her way along, the main trunk of the tree, she caught sight of the most beautiful butterfly. My, thought Patty, how wonderful it would be to soar in the air like that. She moved closer to the edge of the branch and shouted, Mr. Butterfly, how did you become such a beautiful butterfly? The butterfly just floated along the breeze and did not answer her. Stuck up, old butterfly murmured. Patty. She then resumed her journey and soon came to her home, which was made of leaves. She slipped in the front door and up to her mother. Mom, she said, today while playing on the far side of the tree, I came upon a white cocoon. What are they used for? Her mother sat her down on the toadstool couch and said, Patty, when caterpillars know that it's the right time, they go. They each go and spin their own white cocoon. Then they slip inside and fall asleep. And while they sleep, they dream the dreams of the dream tree. And when they wake up, they have been transformed into beautiful butterflies. Patty scrunched up her nose and wiggled her antenna. That's silly, she said. Who would ever believe that a furry caterpillar would turn into a beautiful butterfly? But it's true, said her mother. Someday you and I will be butterflies too. Patty thought for a moment. Then how come butterflies don't fly back and tell us what it's like? Her mother just smiled and said, Someday you'll know, Patty. Someday you'll know. Patty jumped down from the couch and scampered outside. I think I'll just find a butterfly and ask him what it's like, she said. And with that thought in mind, she headed for the branches nearest the outside of the tree. She waited and waited and finally... A large butterfly fluttered by. Ahem, she said. Mr. Butterfly, can you tell me exactly what it feels like to be a butterfly? Mm. The butterfly gazed at Patty and smiled. Then with a flip of his wings, he caught a passing breeze and floated majestically up and away. Mr. Butterfly, she shouted, why won't you tell me? 
the butterfly from high above said just in a whisper like the breeze, Someday you'll know. Someday you'll know. Oh, darn, Patty said. Nobody will tell me. She turned and wandered over to her favorite twig and curled up. She thought and thought, trying to understand why nobody could tell her what it felt like to be a butterfly. I know what I'll do, she said. When I turn into a butterfly, I'll come back and tell all my caterpillar friends what it's like. Then, contented that she had solved the problem, she closed her eyes and fell asleep in the warm spring sun. For months thereafter, Patty frolicked and played in the tree, but she always kept in mind her promise to herself that when, she, when her time came to become a butterfly, she would come back. Then one day, as Patty was skittering along a branch, she suddenly stopped and her antenna began to quiver. It's time, she thought, for me to go and build my cocoon. She went to the farthest leaf on the farthest branch and spun herself into her cocoon. And when she was done, she fell into a long sleep and dreamed the dreams of the dream tree. After many days of resting, she gently woke up and forced her way out of the cocoon. She felt different all over, and she knew that she now was a butterfly. Patty slowly opened her wings and felt the soft summer breeze begin to lift her quietly into the air and away from the tree. Oh, I should go back and tell the others how it feels, she said, but it feels so wonderful to float in the warm wind. She began to drift up, drift up and away, enjoying every motion of her wings. As she floated upwards, she could see a small caterpillar far below and heard him shout, What does it feel like to be a butterfly? Patty knew what her answer had to be. Someday you'll know, little caterpillar. Someday you'll know. The dream tree. I think it would be awfully fun to be a butterfly, don't you? And even a little caterpillar being able to crawl all over the tree branches and swing on the leaves. And to be a butterfly and just float on the wind, that would be fun. So go use your imagination and pretend you're floating on the breeze and smelling all the beautiful flowers. Bye.